hello guys welcome once again to think tank tv my people wonder shall never end wonder shall never end indeed cctv camera shows boss mustafa and godwin emefili dragging 6.2 million dollar cash from cbn vault give me money Sir? money 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 yes the good book was actually right when it said the love of money is the root of all evil so I was seated somewhere yesterday and some guys were arguing that the federal government is actually maltreating Godwin Emefile, the former central bank governor in Nigeria because he is an evil man. And I began to wonder how tribalism has taken us this aback. You see a chronic criminal with this kind of wickedness and yet you choose to hide under the guise of tribal sentiments. Anyway, in this video, as posted by People's Gazette, you shall see and get the facts of Gordon Emefule, the former governor of CBN and boss Mustafa, who was found to have stolen $6.2 million from the CBN just a few weeks to the presidential election in Nigeria. Now, I'll be giving you a full details of the $6.2 million that was stolen by boss Mustafa and Gordon Emefule. But before I do that, I'd like us to hear from Mr. Baba Jinde, who is a journalist in TVC and one of the anchors of Journalist Hangout. Do want to stick around because I'll be coming back to give you the full details at the end of this video. People can say all kinds of things. Oh, Emefule has been uh, persecuted, the Emefule is this, Emefule. To shut their eyes to the truth, to reality, and blindly support an individual that does not really deserve to be supported. So in this case, we had a CBN governor who throughout his years as CBN governor, remember he got the president's note for a second term in office. The, the finances of the CBN were never on. I was, and you know, people always say that they couldn't have done it without the connivance of the people in government. Look at what the uh, panel, look at the, uh, the discovery of the panel. It says, officers of the immediate past administration as well as the SY CBN governor and his four deputy governors connived, defrauded, and stole from the commonwealth of our country with the aid of civil servants. So, no doubt about it, a Mayfele couldn't have done all of this without the connivance of some individuals. But we are talking about a Mayfele because he was a CBN governor. It was his duty to manage the economy, manage especially the, the uh, money policy. But a monetary policy, I mean. But what did we see? A mere failure stole so much money, and at a point he became convinced that, given all the resources at his disposal, given the quantum of money that he had stolen, that he could actually become the president of Nigeria, that he could actually buy himself to the presidency. He went as far as even going to court, trying to stop INEC or whoever from stopping him from contesting for the presidency of our country. How can the head of the regulatory bank be so negative in politics? It was because the system and the government of the day, at the time, the government of, uh, of the day, the Buhari regime, permitted a Mayfele to do virtually whatever he wanted just because he was also doing his best to please the key people in that government, those who make, who, who, who are the part to make big things happen in the government. So, according to the investigator, Jim Obazi, the so-called ways and means was used to defraud our country. Not just that, the Mayfele spent 1.7 billion on questionable legal fees arising from the uh, about 19 or such cases arising from the Naira redesign policy. 1.7 billion spent on 19 uh, cases fired against the CBN 
over the uh, the city Nara redesign policy. Now, talking about the ways and means, the, the uh, investigator said there are instances when no approvals are received from the former president. Yes, 500 billion is taken and debited and debited to ways and means. The CBN governor and his four deputies could not produce the presidential approval of most of the expenses described as ways and means. They could not provide presidential approval for most of the expenses described as ways and means. So the ways and means things was just um, uh, one way by which these big time bankers continue to defraud our nation. So going back to even the, the main reason why we are here, the report submitted on the 20th of December showed clearly that the Mifele used proxies to acquire Union Bank of Nigeria for Titan Trust Bank. According to the investigator, Jim Obase, he also used proxies to acquire Keystone Bank and Polaris Bank without any evidence of payment. Come on. Without any evidence of payment, he used proxies to acquire Keystone Bank and Polaris Bank. Then he lodged funds, billions of Naira public funds in 593 bank accounts in the US, the UK and China without the approval of the CBN board and the investment committee of the APS Bank. To be precise, he lodged 543 million four hundred and eighty two thousand two hundred and three pounds in uk banks alone five hundred and forty three million four hundred and eighty two thousand two hundred and thirteen in uk banks alone without approval now those banks that he acquired through fraudulent means they are likely to be forfeited to, to government. Let me also uh, say that Titan Trust Bank is uh, based on the findings of the, the investigator. Titan Trust Bank is said to belong to Luxis International DMCC and Magna International DMCC, said to be based in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. However, Efforts to verify the corporate status of Lexus failed as they didn't have any free seeker presence in the United Arab Emirates. Ideally, they should, given that they cannot even prove that this is their parent company, this that uh, they are physically present in the country that they claim is their country uh, uh, beginning to the end. You have seen it for yourself. Now, the people's gathered put it this way, that the special investigator taxed with probing the Central Bank of Nigeria has returned with recommended charges for senior officials of the past administration, saying they were linked to the brazen and relentless haste in the public coffers. Jim Obaze said President Bola Tinubu should authorize the prosecution of former cabinet secretary Boss Mustafa and ex-central bank governor Chief Godwin Emefile for their roles in the removal of $6.2 million cash from the bank seller in Abuja. The alleged theft said to have taken place on February 8, 2023, roughly two weeks ahead of the February 25 presidential election, was listed among a laundry of alleged corrupt diversion of public funds linked to Mr. Emifli and other officials of the Buhari administration. Consequently, Mr. Obazi said, Mosafa, Emifli and those listed above, among others, should be charged for forgery concealment still in conspiracy and fraud. Mr. Obazi said his investigation into CBN's action under Mr. Emefule would continue. He did not immediately recommend charges against Mr. Buhari himself, although it was unclear 
if future evidence would compel him to bring charges against the former president, which would be the first in Nigeria's history. Mr. Mustafa declined comments when reached by the Gazette on Saturday evening for this story. An aide to Mr. Emefile said the exhibition boss, who was freed on Friday after 195 days in custody, had no comment. So you can see for yourself how these guys have obviously done the best they can to steal monies for themselves, all at the expense of the nation, Nigeria. Please do want to hit the comment section. Let's get to know what you're thinking is, as we shall continually be here to serve you. Also do want to hit the like button as a means of courtesy to the producers of this content and we shall continually be here to serve you. Thank you so much to all our viewers and returning subscribers who do not take it lightly. My name again is Moses and this is Think Tank TV. Thank you.